Hi everyone. I wanted to do a uh, short video showing a couple things that I was working on, mainly because I hadn't done a video in a while and I wanted to see how Camtasia would work for recording since I had trouble with audio before. Um, <clears throat> first thing that I worked on was if you've ever worked with the morph using the effect assist, like I have a, I have this selected on a my ribbon tree model which is 12 wide by 50 high so if you have the effect assist active you get to see a grid showing all of the pixels on your on your model so the way it was before was you either had to drag sliders around inside this window the effect window to to set things then we improved it so you could grab the corners over here and it would automatically update the sliders to the correct percentages. It was a little bit slower than I noticed, you know, when I was using Superstar because in there you could just click and define your points. So you can still click these corners and move them around. But I may so if you're clicking somewhere other than a corner, a left click will automatically snap both points there. Then you drag and you get the other side. So you'll get the one A and the one B point. If you right click, it'll do the same thing. It'll drag the 2A and 2B points out. So you can quickly just do like a single click here, left and single right click, and define a like single line more for do a do a click and drag left, click and drag right, redefine the bottom. So it allows you to more quickly define you know some morphs that take on different shapes. Okay, so the second thing I worked on, <coughs> let's get to this marquee effect right here. So I'm going to show the nodes. So you can see I've got three colors selected. One thing I noticed is if you had, let's say, a back to back morph there, those are actually lining up okay. Let me drag it out so that they don't line up. So depending on what your time period is, they may or may not line up where it looks nice. The other thing I found was if you did a reverse, the colors were, were not in the correct order for being like going directly backwards. It was actually swapping the colors around and that didn't look right. So I fixed that so when you reverse the colors are going to look right now. And the new thing in Marquee that you wouldn't have had before is this start position. I did that so that I wanted something that was going like across an arch and then wanted it to bounce back. So with the start position I can adjust that and then tweak it right down to where I get a nice a nice like bounce back of all the colors matching up. So if that was on an arch you'd get, you know, like a perfect perfect bounce going back in the other direction from all those colors. So that was that was the two things that I've worked on the past couple of days. Um, let's see, only one more thing, but it was more of a correction of, let me drag this over here. I worked on, I worked a lot on the acceleration of the morph because it, I found out it was not working right if you had a one or a two I have that selected. Oh, that's because I don't have a... Let me redefine it. So you can see how, you, if you look at the nodes, you got a nice linear shape. If you start to add acceleration, it starts to do a non-linear curvature to show acceleration. So I was working on making that right. If you if you look at this with the current version and go to like a, a 1 or a 2, it's actually doing the wrong thing. A two is actually doing no acceleration in two in minus two, and the minus one and one are actually inverted, just because of the way that the math was 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 wrong. So I fixed that, and did a little bit of tweaking to try to make this acceleration, you know, look a little nicer. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and talk to you later.